Hey everyone, it's Telly. So that means it's Wednesday, hump day. Um, this week's topic is disaster dates. Um, I've had a few of these in the past couple of years. <laughs> um, also, don't mind the mess behind me. As you can tell, I am no longer in my prison because the walls are not fucking so white you want to commit. Um, I took it back on Monday night, so I'm pretty happy. Um, anyways, completely side note there. Um, disaster dates, right, right. Uh, first one that came to my mind was so long ago, but it was probably still to this day uh, one of the most awkward, awkward situations. Um, I was talking to this girl. Um, I had met her on Blue is hot or not? That's how long ago this was. Some of you probably don't even know what that is. Does that even still exist? Anyways, this was like before Plenty of Fish and all that stuff came into the picture. Um, so yeah, we met on there and uh, we were um, we weren't even texting because texting wasn't really big. <laughs> I'm that old. Um, we were using MSN. Holy fuck, does that even still exist? Um, yeah, so we're talking on MSN, um, she seemed cool, whatever, we got along. The only thing was, was that there was like a nine, nine years? Ten? No. There was like eleven years, eleven year age gap. I was a baby at this point, I was only eighteen, and she was twenty-nine. That's 11 years, right? Yeah, my mask are so good. Um, yeah, so there's 11 year age gap. Why I have ever thought that that would work, uh, I don't know. But um, I guess the fact that our maturity levels seem the same should have been uh, a red flag. I mean, at 29, you should not be acting or have the same um, mind state as an 18 year old. You, just, you shouldn't. You should be a couple of steps ahead by then. Um, so, anyways, <laughs> back to my story. So we finally decide that uh, we're gonna meet up. And I'm a young one here, I'm 18, but I have a car, so I guess that's why. I end up driving about two hours to see this girl. I had no fucking idea where I was going. My sense of direction is still off. Well, but it was even worse then because I basically had just gotten my license. Um, so I get up there and I get to her apartment and um, she greets me with a bottle of tequila. I'm not even legal, okay? I don't know how the rest of this night even happened, but yeah, 19 stage in Canada, if some of you don't know, for drinking. Um, so I was not legal. This seems like so long ago. Um, so anyways, she starts feeding the tequila shots to me, I guess, to loosen me up. Um, but she ends up loosening herself up way before me. She gets so shit-faced. So shit-faced. And she invites her friends over, who are also 29, 35, like, a lot older than me. And they're kind of, they walk in and they, they kind of just look at me like, are you serious right now? There's a child in your house. I mean, you can imagine what I look like when I was 18 because I'm like, I'll be 26 next month and I do not look my age. So at 18, I looked very young because I was very young, but I mean, I looked very fucking young. And so they come in and they're just, like I said, they were looking at me and I knew they were looking at me. And I was like, this is fucking awkward. They probably do not want to be standing here with a fucking person who's not even old enough to go to the bars. And she's just really fucking drunk. And she's being so inappropriate. She's like fondling and falling all over me in front of her friends. And her friends are giving me the dirty looks. And I'm like, okay, this is too much. Not enough tequila in a liquor store to even stomach being around these people. Like, they're I'm saying they're fucking old. I'm not that far from the, their ages now. But I mean, at 18, I was like, you guys are fucking old. Why am I here? They somehow, I don't know how they managed, but they managed to get me into this bar. 
I've never been to, it wasn't even a bar, it was a fucking club. I've never been to a club in my life. I had no idea what to expect. I was not legal with a bunch of people I don't know. This was supposed to be a date. And she's taking me out to a club that I'm not legal to be at with a bunch of fucking 30 plus people. Awkward. Beyond. So, we go to the bar and she is, I don't even know what she's doing. Like, she is bumping and grinding. She's doing the fucking bend and snap. And I'm like, who is this bitch? Like, she did not come across uh, this way over MSN. But you know, this is a lesson, kids. People are not the same on the internet as they are in person. I'm telling you this. Not the same. So, like I said, she's over in the corner doing the fucking bend and snap. And I'm standing there like, where the fuck am I? Can I leave? Where's my car? Where am I at right now? I can't call my mother because she'll fucking lose it if she knows I'm at a fucking club right now. Uh, okay, I guess I'm fucked. So I have to deal with this. And she's basically trying to fuck me on the dance floor. And she's up on some pole. Yes, there's poles in this place. It was that kind of classy. She was up on the pole, bumping and grinding, bending and snapping, fucking booty popping. And... This is our date. This is what my date consists of. I could have fucking went home and watched porn and see the same goddamn thing. Except it would probably would have been a lot more attractive. Anyways, so the night continues and she's basically trying to rape me on the dance floor. We finally go home. <sighs> so then, uh, ooh, I don't even like to be living this memory right now. All these topics are really bringing up awful, awful memories. Um, so, or like in her bed and, oh, I wouldn't even let her touch me. Like, I, no. She took her shirt off and her bra off and I was completely disgusted. Yeah, normally I love boobs, but these were awful. They're not supposed to look like that at 29, I'm sorry. I'm only like three years and one month away from that and my boobs are... They're pretty good, you know? They're not any different than what they were when I was that age. Except they're a little smaller. Um, <laughs> I guess she just had really disgusting boobs. That's really mean to say, but they, I can't, they were something out of a horror film. So anyways, I'm not like letting her touch, her, touch me. And she's just like, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. And I'm like, okay, exorcism of Emily Rose is coming out right now. And, um... So I just fuck her to shut her up. I sound disgusting right now, but you know, we've all probably been in this situation. If you fuck her, she'll shut up. She'll leave you alone. You get out the next day, you don't talk to her. Um, I'm not usually so disrespectful to women, but this girl was... She wanted to be disrespected the way she was acting. So then the next morning, to top it all off, uh, She's like, uh, so you're gonna have to go home a day early. Fantastic. Perfect. Perfect. I'm so okay with this. And, but the reason why was kind of, it kind of blew my mind a little. Uh, my husband's coming back from the army. He's been away, but he's coming back today. So you've got to go. Your husband? What? Okay, back it up. You have a husband? Why are you talking to me? Well, you know, if I if I wasn't with my husband, I'd want to be with you. Oh, you'd want to be with me, would you? I'm fucking 18. What is wrong with you? Why are you fucking women while your husband is away in the army? I was disgusted. No. And then we're out on the side of the road in the fucking ghetto somewhere. She's barefoot. And I'm like, okay, well, I need to go now. I never talked to that bitch again. Um, she tried to contact me a few times. I'm sure just for a, a booty call when her husband wasn't around, but I was not having that. Um, yeah. So that was one of my experiences. Another one, I'm going to keep it short. Um, I ended up meeting her at a, a club in Toronto. This wasn't that long ago. It was like year and a half ago maybe. Um, thought she was cute, whatever, approached her, get her number, and we hung out, and then it was Stalker 101. 
She would come to my apartment in the middle of the night, banging on my windows. I had to be in darkness from, like, midnight on, because if not, she knew I was home and she was coming in. It took me probably three months to shake her. You never know who you're meeting. Oh, you really never know. Usually they don't, they don't show their two colors that quick, but for whatever reason, they show themselves pretty quick when it comes to me. I could probably go on with a lot more stories, basically just meeting people off the internet. I don't suggest it for reasons like I just told you. Stalker 101 and fucking this bend and snap. Don't do it. Anyways, I'm going to leave it there because if not, I'll keep going because I'm old and I have lots of stories. Um, anyways, see you guys next week.